my name is Brianna and I'm a mom of a toddler boy and a baby girl. So between mom life, my career, and my YouTube channel, I've got a lot of responsibilities and work to manage. And I'm not perfect at this. I am always striving to do better, but I would definitely consider time management to be one of my greatest strengths or superpowers, if you will. And I've gotten so many requests for this video, so I'm really excited to share with you my organization and time management system and some tips that I've picked up along the way. So my organization system is a main Outlook calendar that lives on the computer but also syncs to my phone. It's where I put time blocks for everything for my job, meetings, work blocks, also where I put everything for my YouTube channel as well as my personal life. So doctor's appointments, when I'm traveling for work. So then I have to-do lists for each realm of my work my recruitment job, my YouTube channel, life and family. And then I have the time blocked on my calendar to accomplish those tasks on my to-do list. Now, all of these to-do lists are scaffolded by priority. So what must be done first? And then I use the notes in my phone or most of the time I have this notebook handy and this is where I write down the list of any things that I need to buy or purchase or research or any ideas that pop into my head for video ideas and I keep them all here or in the notes section on my phone. And then this way I can reference all of those things when planning or shopping. And I really prefer to write things down. I feel like it helps me remember it better, but if for some reason something pops into my head or I realize we need something when I'm on the go, I put it into my phone. So this system allows me, my family, as well as my work family to know what I'm doing every single day, places where they need to step in and assist. So for example, I always invite my husband and my grandparents to any of the blocks of time where I'm traveling for work, along with my flights and my hotel, so they always know that sort of important travel information. And then my husband and I also use Excel documents for tracking our monthly bills and mortgage payments, just to make sure we're on top of all of those expenses. We also have a similar Excel document for tracking our business responsibilities. So this way we know does an invoice need to be sent out, what step are we at in the process, and we can stay aligned and on the same page by knowing who needs to pick up the next task or when tasks get completed. So that's the overview of the system I use to manage my time and stay organized. And you're probably wondering, how can I apply this to my life and figure out a system for me? Because this is really personal. So here are the overview of the hacks that that you can keep in mind when figuring out an organization and time management system that can work for you. The number one time management hack is backwards planning. So let's say you wanna save a certain amount of money by the end of this year. Backwards plan from December 31st, smaller dates that serve as benchmarks for you to measure your progress to your overall goal. So let's say you wanted to save $1,000. By the end of March, a quarter of the way there, you should be at $250. Halfway through the year, June 30th, you should be at $500. That way you have smaller goals on the way to make sure that you're staying on track to your larger goal. Number two time management hack is know your working style. If you sit and reflect, there are probably times of the day that you are much more productive than others. For example, if you feel your sharpest in the morning, right after you wake up when you've had your morning coffee, that's probably the time you wanna block on your schedule work that requires really critical thinking. That way you won't be burnt out, you can focus and do a much better job. For me, I'm a night owl, that's when I feel really creative, so I love editing my YouTube videos after I put the kids down to sleep. I just feel like my creative juices are flowing and I'm at my very best at that time of day. You can also use this strategy if there's something you avoid doing, like working out. Maybe you need to wake up first thing in the morning and get that workout in so you don't have that mental anxiety taking up space in your brain or that guilt feeling for not doing something that you know you should but don't necessarily want to do. Similarly, things that bring you anxiety or stress like a doctor's appointment, schedule that for first thing in the morning so it's out of your way and you can focus the rest of your day. The number three time management hack is prioritizing your big rocks versus your little rocks. Imagine you have a vase and you have big rocks, smaller pebbles, and sand. Sand are those quick, easy tasks that you don't really mind doing. They might be fun for you and they don't take a long time to get done. The pebbles or the smaller rocks are things that also might not take you a ton of time, but maybe are just a little bit harder. And the big rocks are the things that are those monstrous tasks. They might take you a long time. They might require a lot of energy. They might be a little bit more difficult for you to do. If you put the sand in the vase first, 
you're never going to be able to squeeze in those pebbles or those big rocks. You have to put the big rocks in the vase first, then the pebbles, and then the sand. And that's how you should sort of equate your tasks and your prioritization is get rid of the big rocks first, then focus on the pebbles, and then do those small quick things that can sort of fill in the gaps in between those big rocks and pebbles. Time management hack number four is delegation. Figure out what you can delegate. Maybe it's hiring a cleaning service. Maybe it's getting a meal delivery service. Maybe it's curbside pickup at your grocery store. Whatever you can do to save yourself some time or delegate the work to others, it's a must. And especially mamas, for some reason, we think we need to do it all. We can be control freaks about things, especially when it comes to our little ones. But this is where the phrase, it takes a village, is so true. You're the ringleader of your circus and you need those supporting acts in order for the show to go on and for your sanity. Time management hack number five is communication. It's really important for those on your team, whether it is your partner, your family members, your work team, your friends, to all be on the same page when it comes to the goals that you have, tasks that you need to get completed, you need to work together. Think about when you're planning a wedding between your significant other, your family, your in-laws, the vendors. Everyone needs to be on the same page and know the goals, the deadlines, and the work at hand. You'll honestly waste so much time if you don't do this up front in the beginning because you'll be answering all of these questions and having to be giving so many instructions along the way that you could clear up up front if you ensure that your communication and expectations are strong and clear. Time management hack number six is knowing your will and your skill. In other words, your motivation to get a certain task done and your skill level to get it done. If something is brand new for you, you might be excited to try it, but your skill level might not be that great. Let's say meal planning. You really want to do it. You're excited. You know it's going to save your family so much time. But until you build up your skills, you're not going to be that great at it. So you need to block off that time up front to educate yourself, understand what it is you need to shop for, how long it will take you to cook, what exactly you need to be planning for meal-wise. So you need to invest that time in building up your skills before you can be really good at something. On the other hand, cleaning. You're probably a cleaning pro. You know the amount of time it takes for you to clean your house, but you might have a day you're just not motivated. So maybe it's blocking off some time to watch some clean with me videos or some power hours to get that motivation back so that you can tackle the work at hand. And it's so important to plan based on your will and your skill. If you know you're going to need something to get motivated before you do a certain task, you need to block off that time so that you can do it successfully. Piggybacking off of that, time management hack number seven is flex time. If you're the type of person that needs spontaneity or needs frequent breaks, make sure you're budgeting your calendar to include flex time. This is also really important because life can throw us curves, especially if you have a baby and a toddler, little ones, family members who might have certain needs that spring up unexpectedly. You need that flex time built in your schedule. If you have yourself scheduled eight to five with things all in your control, then there's probably going to be things throughout your day that are just out of your control. So be fair to yourself and have that flex time so that you can either take the breaks that you need or handle the unexpected things that are going to come up in between those other big rocks on your calendar. We all need flex time, don't we? I personally need flex days, maybe even a flex week every now and then. Time management hack number eight is continually reassess your system. What is working? Use your strengths and leverage those and eliminate the things that aren't efficient, are stressing you out, and aren't saving you time. One person might like putting their tasks on a post-it note that they can rip up and have that gratification of throwing the post-it out, whereas someone else might need their to-do list saved in their computer so they can reference it and go back to it week to week. You have to figure out the things that are going to work for you to stay organized and manage your time best. This is super personal. Do what works for you. And my final time management hack is take care of yourself and block out this time to do it. You can only help others if you're healthy, heart, mind, body, and soul. I really hope you like this video and if you'd like to see more time management, organizing, and planning videos, make sure you click that thumbs up button so that I know this is a really complex topic and I definitely feel like there's ways I could go even deeper if this is something you'd like to see more of on my channel. I'm just thinking I could break this down into time management for mom life, for business, for school. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you would like me to go deeper on or show you more of my system for. I'd be happy to take your requests.
As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves. Did you see that shooting star tonight? Were you dazzled by the same consolation? Did you and Jupiter conspire to get me? I think you in the moon and Neptune got it right. Cause now I'm shining bright.